Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Veil Guard where I'm pumped. I'm very pumped. Things are happening that were good. We finally had an Inquisition cameo that wasn't Varric, who's just a talking head in a room. Um, I am surprised Solus is not talking to us because also Solus has a big thing about the Wardens. Like, and I'm distracted by looking at myself. Meh. Um, Sort of, well, Solus had a big thing with the wardens, as in like he, he thought they were good pe like a good cause, but like they're them trying to use blood magic on the scale that they did, and and try to um, what's the word um, hunt the archdemons down was like he was very big unhappy with that. I want to figure out what else is going on in the lighthouse. Like, we've got this whole other, like, no no clue for me here yet. Why does this place sound so scary? And why is this like a replica of what the, or I guess hers is maybe a replica of what of this? Bellara's little thing she's got rotating in her room. You just make sure everything's working, cause I'll be so sad if it doesn't. Let's see what. Let's just make sure. A warden's best friend. Yes. Yes. Let's acquire. Let's acquire a friend, a new friend. Well, you, the path to a new friend. Um, yeah, this is what I want. I like this squad. Once we get Devrin, Dev I keep changing his name, I swear, but uh, once we get him, we'll probably have him, even though I'm a warrior too. I was gonna say, actually, it seems, I think Harding, we have two rogues and two mages that show up with you. You don't even get a, you don't get a warrior right out the gate. That's a little crazy. Why the spooky sounds? But yes, I knew this was the Anderfells over here. <clears throat> and I'm like, nothing grows. And I'm like, I mean, succulents. They require pretty delicate environments. <coughs> succulents are still things. Oh my gosh, look at the warden statues. To other shores. The actual wardens are my heroes. The... the, the, the 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 heads of the households or whatever. Nah. Cold. I felt it the moment the boat docked. That's the fade going right to your bones. I uh, I mean it's also very snowy looking. We are going to the Anderfells. You hear you hear about these this one a lot. Two blights happened here, which is why it's all all, and they would not, the wardens would not be happy with the Inquisition in so many ways, and we are associated with them. At least a little bit. Nothing? Also, they've already spoiled it for us in the promotional material, but they've got, they've got Griffiths. I was upset by that. <laughs> they, uh, maybe I'll edit that out. But they have one baby. We get the baby griffin. We are going to acquire a baby griffin friend here soon. Is that one of those? I was like, Let's clear them out. I was like, that's one of those fade things. I messed that up. I was trying to do some stuff, but. If the dog's born are here. The blight on this island must be running wild. Throbbing hard. The gods want this place. They do not care how they defile it. That is an excellent point. The gods... Gaul, I didn't even... Like, I, it didn't cross my mind. I mean, it kind of did, but not... Really? I was like, oh, it's a blight. So we need the... Uh, we need the... Um, the wardens. But of course, the gods... If the gods are... Uti wow, did you see that? That was so fancy of him. If the gods are utilizing blight... It's nice to get out of the lighthouse. I've never met a mage who distrusts the Fade as much as you. Source of magic, sure. But it's also made of tricks, dreams, and unanswered questions. 
It pays to be cautious. I think most mages are a little wary. Why is this a sad griffin? This looks like a griffin that got like turned into a... Uh turned into stone or wood or something but of course the gods if they're utilizing blight would want to take down the wardens and i bet you the first warden is somehow being manipulated also i just thought of that but holy cow yeah holy cow they would have been targeted like right out the gate and i finally get to interact with a solace Another of those altars. yeah Oh, I did. I guess I did one earlier, huh? Look at the runes. What? What am I going to do with that? Little shrines for the griffins. <laughs> I keep expecting one of the floorboards to break. Let's not linger here. Yeah. Um, I, Gaul, I have wanted ever since I learned that wardens and griffins were a thing, like, way back in the day, right? Um, that they are, like, that's what the symbology is for and everything. I was always like, oh, could we bring, like, someday they have to bring the griffins back. Like, that has to be a thing that they'll do someday. Uh, and, and then I read the, one of the books. Um, I can't remember the name. Not Asunder. Is it Asunder? Maybe. Maybe it's asunder, but um, it has a story where the griffins, like it tells you about the history of the griffins when the griffins were starting to die out with the wardens, um, and What's then this? there's like an indication it looks like an entryway? that they're coming back. Can I go in? No. Oh, I can. Wait. What happened? This oh. doesn't feel like the fate. More like a dream, or... Oh. Okay. Ooh, I almost pulled my my headphones out. Um. Yeah, anyway. In the book, she finds, like, a clutch of, of griffin eggs, but you never know. You're never sure if they're gonna bring actually bring it back or not, you know? But apparently, yes, we finally did. A memory. And Daran Atishan. Lassa Gilan. <gasps> Spirits, fade friends, oh. come forth. Enter the circle. Reveal yourselves. Solus? Is that him? Or a spirit posing as him? General Felison, too! I've been. I want. I'm so excited! <sighs> I was hoping we'd get something concerning him, come besides to notes. Us. And make yourselves known. Oh my gosh. Is it gonna be like young Solus too? Spirits, the Dread Wolf asks for your assistance on a crucial mission. Does he think I'm one of these spirits? The false gods, the Evanuris, have overreached. I shall humble them. It in their citadel lies oh. a relic with the power to imprison even a god. With it, I can bring their tyranny to an end forever. You are spirits of chaos, disorder, and destruction. Oh. We ask you to disrupt the citadel's defenses. Give us the opening to get that relic for freedom. We're seeing the past when Solus sent this spirit army against the gods. I we are spirits of disruption. Let's act like it. Uh, I I've been called disruptive a time or two. Yeah, yeah. You probably not, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> uh, their conversation earlier was so funny about. She's like, "I'm not serious, am I?" And he's like, eh. "Like they're both uh, not super like." rambunctious people but very different in their like serious sort of ness and she's a little bit sassier anyway that's the young solus design i don't know if they actually gave him dreadlocks or not because like eh, you know but like some of the some of the solus designs um had him with dreadlocks um and i think people were saying it was like it was like a perspective like um 
either like a young solo's design or like it was like a, a, a perspective design that people that the fandom then took and made into like a young solo's version you know like they're like oh this is we're gonna pretend this is what solo's was like when he was younger and a bit more rebellious it was like a shaved sides like dreadlock look you know and all of the full yeah the, the, definitely the, the shaved sides which would look so good on him and i couldn't get very i couldn't feel like i could get very close in that but oh my gosh and fell us on from a distance i was like because I love that ancient armor, our ancient elven armor too. It's so good. Spirit, how did the wolf call up so many? Well, I, it's just me. Oh. Mm. The ancient elven armor. I'm kind of wearing it. That shield. He just hit me with a shield that's got spikes on it. Oh. Dang it. I'm trying to throw it back. Level 15. Yeah, we're gonna... Again, this is apparently the only way to, to get around is to break things. Upsetty spaghetti about that still. I will be forever upset about it. Okay. The gods told us this fortress couldn't be breached! That's the last of them. That was like three of them. It's also not fair that like they have to kill other like elven people, right? Where it's like they're just doing what they, what they think is right, you know? So it's just it's a bummer. Like I don't know, it would not be an easy decision to make, right? To have to like fight against your own people. And you're like, we're fighting for your freedom, but you do not want it. <laughs> you're content with what you have, and it's... It is sad. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And then... So I'll get 19 here, and then on 20, I will hopefully be able to unlock these. I'm excited. I timed it so well, completely accidentally, and I only rewrote a little bit. This is wild. I didn't. I was. I didn't know we were gonna be getting in like old memories. I thought we were just gonna be seeing like solace in our head. More enemies. You Go. know. Whoa. This is probably overkill, but. Oop. They bring the strength of the fade. We are demon. Ow! Stop. Stabbing me with the pointy shields. I do like the aesthetic. I <gasps> it's the orb. Is that Solus's orb? Oh no, is that the, that the Silas thing? The Citadel, and the Evaneris know it. This might be the Silas thing that creates fire everywhere. The see, see, there are there are tree people in here. So the tree people thing must be an old thing too. Maybe some of it's some of it's new in Arlathan, but some of it has to be old. They've changed their plans. Elganon may be a tyrant. Hang on. Oh, I cannot get close enough. Does he have tattoos on the side of his? I'm gonna lose it when I actually see him if I can. I don't know if I actually can. But he is not a fool. Yee! That means the relic is genuine. We are close, and Elganon is afraid. Put our strongest in the vanguard. Prepare to breach the citadel. It will not be easy, but we shall win the. Yee, hang on, I'm creeping. I am creeping. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, it's just, he's he's got like, he hasn't shaved, he hasn't touched up his side shave in a while. I think, are those? I think it's just long hair. I think he just has the long hair. Okay, okay. The dreadlocks was an idea from a long time ago. Oh my gosh, the armor looks so good. Felison looks very handsome. And I love that ancient elven armor so much. Oh my gosh. Young Solas, I'm going to cry. I'm not gonna lie, I think it would look better if they'd have braided it. 
Unless maybe it is a little dreadlocky. It might be a little dreadlocky. I mean, it makes sense for the dreadwolf to have dreadlocks, kind of. You know what I'm saying? I think that's why that was that was done the way it was. Oh, gosh, young soul is with hair. That's so wild. Oh my gosh. I think it would look better if they did the the side shape better. Again, I'm not really sure. I think this game doesn't have like the full like mine's like I just touched mine up like this morning you know like super super smooth i've been i just got the foil razor and i'm going to be doing it every few days but um also the blonde i pictured him more brunette i definitely pictured him more brunette less blonde i will say um i kind of don't want to take him seriously in the blonde <laughs> but but his armor is so good and it's so wild. Oh my gosh, Felison. He is so handsome. And he is bound to Mythal. There's like my squads out there and I'm over here like dying inside. I'm like, ah, oh gosh. And I definitely interrupted the cutscene for this. But listen, I don't know how close I could actually get in the, like in the cutscenes. Some of these motifs. Oh, you know what? It's so f now. I'm like, all these. I'm like bald elves. It's Solus being the dread wolf. He he had hair when he was like this young. The bald thing is, I don't know when that became a thing necessarily, but like, I'm like bald elves are Solus and he his iconography. No, that is actually you know what? To be fair, a lot of the dread wolf. Um, like mosaics and frescoes and stuff they either have him in a hood or he's bald so maybe this happens soon where he just goes bald or just decides he's like you can control what you i think you can control to a degree anyway what you look like in, in the world like this where the fade is like imbued in everything you know what i mean like the magic is everything it's 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 in everything you know including yourself you're an immortal being all the elves are immortal beings not just the Evanures, you know Oh my gosh, I wish I could share this with my friend, but she probably hasn't gotten this far yet. I'm gonna be just a... <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm ready. I just, I, there's a real young Solus. Disruption, lead the charge and do what you do best. Whatever champions the gods send against you, bring them down. More of them. So if death to all tyrants! Oh. Reinforcements! We need more reinforcements! I'm amazing. This is a memory, though. Why? And why are some of them already? Like, you must hold fast. Oh! Stop hitting me with your fucking shields. I just, this is crazy to be like in battle with Solus, like as the, as the warrior, like as like the, the rebellion leader, this is crazy. My friend and I were talking the other night and we were saying that it's actually so tragic that Rook, that's like your Rook, is seeing more of the real Solus potentially than like the Inquisitor ever did. Even though like, I think, you know, potentially you saw a little bit more truth of him than even he thought. I think he could in some ways be his self, like be his own true, like true to his like original self. Not the dread wolf, you know, not the, not the general, not the leader, but the man he was, the one that he wanted to be. Kind of like Blackwall again. Blackwall and Solus had so many parallels. I have waxed prolific about them. Um, but yeah, like he, he, want, he was the man he wanted to be when he was around the Inquisitor, but having the the lie between them would be something that would keep true knowing impossible, you know? Ugh. Holy cow, what is being thrown at me? The gods send aid! This is as far as you go! Whoa! Oh, ow, 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 I'm on fire. Where were the other spirits? Come on, I felt like we were we were carrying that. 
Destruction oh. fought to the last. And it was all for nothing. We couldn't take the Citadel. Wait, that body's me? It was not for nothing, my friend. The distraction the spirits gave us allowed our agents to retrieve the relic. Distraction? No force could have breached their citadel. But it was necessary for the enemy to believe we were committed. A heavy <sighs> sacrifice. But one that gave us a real chance to end the war. You knowingly sent all those spirits to their deaths? Solus, we're supposed to be better than that! They died true to their nature, doing what they loved, Falasan. Let that be a comfort. But this war did not corrupt them into something different from what they were supposed to be. As schism a little bit, it's hard to be an idealist in a war, you know? A ruse. That's all it was. By this point, Solus didn't care who he sacrificed if it meant stopping the Avenuris. Maybe they would have volunteered to die for his cause, but he never asked. Yeah. Memory sort of condensed into that statuette. Maybe there's more to this. And again, he acts like he has he's he has no wrong. I think at this point, I think everything he says when he's saying these things, like it's for like spirits staying true to their nature, that's something that's very important to him, and it has been since Inqu Inquisition. Um, but I think what he's doing right now is grieving for Mythal. I wonder if there's an intentional para car ugh, parallel with Jacobus in The Crows, the one who's like young and grieving and potentially just gonna be thinking of vengeance, you know, and getting himself and maybe people around him killed. And he, you know what I mean? Uh, and again, it's like that whole, what Air said too, where it's like vengeance is an unending hole. You know, like you cannot fill it up. Like with the blood, no much matter how much blood you spill, you'll never fill it back up again. And I think Solus was on that track, right? Where like mostly, like as much as he believed, I think, in in trying to like deny the Avenuris what they were doing because it was bad and it was hurting people, um, I think he said before anyway that the the death of Mythal is what broke him and was what made them made the Evanuris irredeemable in his eyes. So wow. If this is not god darn it. Oh, but less stagger? I don't want it. Maybe I do. Marrying elements of Deventer and Dalish design. Mmm, that's an awkward marriage. This distinct axe feels oddly lighter in the hand. The more its wielder wearies. Interesting. Um, because uh, Tevinter enslaves Dalish people, elven people. If they get their hands on Dalish, they will enslave them. Oh, um, I mean, okay. Okay, I was like, <coughs> like, you want me to keep going into this memory again? But I think we're trying to head towards um, the original quest. Is this a shortcut? Eh. Trauma from trying to find that. God, wow, memories. <laughs> Uh, and they were friends, but like, and even Solus didn't tell Felison because he knew that Felison wouldn't agree with him. See, I was curious if Felison was part of the plan, like, because uh, he was the one doing the speaking, right? So I'm like, is he the one, like, he's a mouthpiece for Solus, right? Like, where, and like, he knows the plans, but Solus even tricked Felison so that Felison, like, the, the spirits would sense Felison's passion and belief in what they were saying, you know? I truly think the spirits probably would have followed Solus, but like he didn't want to leave that to chance, right? And when a spirit dies, technically they can kind of come back, but they'll probably be slightly different. You know what I mean? Or very different. But they don't, they can't really die in the same sense that we think of death. At least that's the way it's always been. As far as the lore has told us so far, which there can be changes to that, right? Where it's like, oh, we misinterpreted it. It's like, <gasps> alas, you know. What is hollering? 
Okay. Okay. A monument to humility. Well, I didn't. Even, I didn't even look at what the monument was. Ah, right, there it is. This monument has been methodically. Methodically? <laughs> well, I don't know what I was trying to say. One of the shards shows a vicious elven general. Written firmly across the smiling stone face are Valefar runes. Here is the folly of Maran Maranadas, dreamer and defender of Alathan. He broke the ragged blades of the hungering brethren. He laid the head of the moonbred serpent at the Vunin. A serpent? We're actually, I pointed it. I was, it was like, oh, you keep seeing the flags. And I was like, what is that? Where does that come from? Where does the snake symbology come from? We always associated with Tevinter. It's like, oh, evil Tevinter. You know, of course they have snakes. That's like a modern Christian association. I, oh, where's it coming from? In his arrogance, he thought to claim these crossroads for the glory of Arlathan alone. Upon these peaks, he set these monuments. But he returned to find Arlathan lost and his people scattered, and those who sheltered the stranger and fed the hungry were greater heroes than he. Here is the folly and also the lesson. Pride bears us to the heights, and pride casts us down from them. A monument to humility is opposed to pride. Ooh, and the monument is like a torn down, deconstructed thing potentially what is oh thank you and the veil jumpers are happy about that too oopsie oh my gosh we are getting this is so cute now at first i was like these are weird but they also look like little murder weapons you know they look like murder weapons i can now now i'm ahead of schedule the ricochet shot. I got another ricochet shot. And we can try out that one. How exciting! Do you open again? Oh, we have chosen our path, apparently. Is the monument actually here? That's a sick gate. Is that Dwarven? It looks more Mesoamerican than anything else. There. Another blight of fate. Let me in. That's where we're headed. Let me in. Well, obviously, we gotta figure something out. Out. But it was, I think, an ancient Arlathan like uh, monument, so elven, and but we are, um, we're in the Anderfells, so. I was, say, I was gonna say, this is, looks very dwarven, and there's a there's a distinct dwarven statue over there. And I was gonna say, because in the Anderfells, the wardens have always had a good relationship with the dwarves, and in particular places, even the below ground dwarves that didn't want to come to the surface would have like points where like they would build like like uh, like big courtyards not courtyards but like uh, meeting places where like they were technically still underground but like surfacers could easily approach like at the side of a mountain you know what I mean and it was easy for a surfacer to just walk in and kind of be in like a hall you know Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I can't believe we've had so many lore things happening. Wee! Yeah, we've definitely got dwarven mining going on. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is like where we started. I think. <laughs> it made a yucky noise. I don't like that. Gosh, it is dwarven, like the the gold stat, like the gold face mask that's on the other on the other doorway. Wild, they they've updated it and I like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I I like the update to the. Uh... Oh, these are alluvians. I guess we're still kind of in the fade, aren't we? Right? Yeah. Yes, we are. Oh, I'm losing my mind, but we are trying to get various places. If we're kind of in the Anderfels part of the fade. I totally, I was like, already, I'm like, we're already there. How could we do the memory otherwise? Mm -hmm. I saw the griffins and I was like, hey! Oh, I'm so excited. 
But why... Griffins, why do you look so sad? I'm so excited for the Enderfells. If it's like deserty, it's gonna be like high desert. Can I only bring one person? Oh, because I'm going to be meeting... I'm gonna be meeting the new warden friend. Hmm. Oh, there he is, there he is, is he? <laughs> Lucanus. Oh, I should have brought Harding. Mm, I should have brought Harding. Warden Zevka and Antoine answered our letter. They're willing to talk. In the middle of nowhere? Where the first warden won't notice. But if they don't listen. I don't know of many married wardens. <gasps> Your distraction worked. Could have said it when we were farther away. Désolé, I didn't say it was a good plan. They're both. Ah, well, she's very we beautiful. Made it. Arding, we meet again. Antoine, Evka, e Orlesian. Well. He's Orlesian. And you must be Rook. Heard some colorful things about you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are not reoccurring characters that I know of. They might be from the books, but I don't remember. Um, but I gotta say, the, um, the Orlesian accent is, um, it's not my favorite, so. Yeah, I get that a lot. I can imagine. What have you come to talk about? The elven gods are changing the blight. Darkspawn, too. There was a village, Demeta's Crossing. They overran it with the blight in a snap. We saw the aftermath. Whatever they're planning, it's bad. And if it involves the Blight, we need Warden help. A change? Manipulation. That could explain. But... Uh, you believe me? That the Elven Gods are here, and... I, it's, it's a lot to accept. Yeah. But we've been looking into oddities with the Blight ourselves. It's... altered. I can feel it. And your story... A lot lines up. Mm-hmm. Then make the rest of the Wardens see it. The world won't wait for your stubborn boss. <laughs> Some of the rumors about you were true. If Ooh. the First Warden believes that village was an aberration, or that it did not happen as you say... We're not exactly the First Warden's favorites. Your word and our theories won't win the whole order. So what do we do? If the Darkspawn are changing... Davern might help. Davern. Even among wardens, he's known as a monster hunter. He got pulled on a mission. Not sure what, but it's farther into the mountains. We can get you a rough location. I married someone with good advice. You find Davrin, and we'll keep after the blight. Hmm. Thank you. Both of you. You can thank us if this works out. Travel safely. We'll be in touch. I'm already liking the environs. I'm a big fan of rocky deserts. It's my favorite. Well, I'd say we found the camp. So did some dogs born, looks like. Oh, ew, gross. They left the fire burning. Were they ambushed? <laughs> we are about to get jumped. I like that she reached out to touch his arm. <gasps> baby! The baby! Easy. Oh my gosh! Deferential squawk. <laughs> the baby! So cute! Davern's very attractive as well, but oh my gosh, it was a baby group. I had, I'd seen it in the promotional material, but like, oh my gosh. I'll be damned. <laughs> A griffin. 
You're beautiful. You're Trouble beautiful. Trouble is, he's not sure what you are. Neither am I. Rook, Evka and Antoine sent us. We're looking for Davrin. You found him. Mind telling me why you smell like Darkspawn? Griffins hunt Darkspawn. I mean, what? You probably smell like Darkspawn too. You have the literal blight in your veins. Um. Also, yes, I like his voice. I do like his voice. He is his voice actor voice Javik Javik in Mass Effect Three, and I always like Javik's voice, even though sometimes I wanted to grab him by his sides of his face and be like, "Stop it." <laughs> I saw somebody in a video what Javik was in that was like, oh, he's such a lovable guy. And I was like, 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 not like that, but like very seriously, like he's so lovable and great. And I was like, who did, who did you interact with? Because uh, that's not who I interacted with. <laughs> um, who, Griffin, why do we smell like Darius Bomber trying to help? Um, Yeah. You've got bigger problems than us. We found Blight on the tent. What? Where are Lancet and Remy? The camp was empty when we got here. Hassan, to the trees! We can help. Try to keep up. What? Well, okay, you can hear some look at that, oh my gosh! He's got a scent. Follow the squawks. I thought griffins were extinct. We want the world to think that. It's why we're training in the middle of nowhere. Hassan, don't get too far ahead. Doesn't sound like he agrees. Uh. If he even listens, has a mind of his own. They have to relearn how to work with the griffins. It's been so long that they've probably lost most of their... Most of their lore, like the written lore on, on how to train griffins, that's got to be crazy. Oh, baby, they better, they will. Like, they better tell me how they, like, did it. They'll probably, like, reference the book. Or at least events in it. Look at that. That is some of the worst flying animation I've ever seen. <laughs> but he's cute. And he's a griffin. He's a griffin. Like, to see him with my own eyes, not just on a trailer. A, a gray warden griffin. Oh my gosh. Oh yucky. Over there. Dead like, dark spawn. These are part of the training. Hassan like, was half right. There's no time for half wrong. Hassan, we're looking for live dark spawn. Oh come on. <laughs> he understands. Not sure he understands anything but dinner. Keep on it, Hassan. They're around here somewhere. These are like natural ridge lines, like natural fortifications. That's really cool. What's I was like, what's the point of these? I bet you it's like griffin training. Like they're fly like they would they would way back in the day probably train to fly like really st like strict maneuvers through these like what are the eye holes, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take a picture. For my scrapbook. I think it sounds like you need to be a little more forgiving of your griffin. He's a baby. You need to be a bit more understanding. Or like open-minded? I don't know. Like he seems, Davern seems very strict. Probably doesn't get along well with children. <laughs> not, not on purpose, just probably doesn't. Am I going the right way? I hope so. I'm just kind of following. Just kind of going where I think I need to go. Ooh, there's some going down over there. This is why. Oh no. This is probably why the wardens have been so reclusive, honestly, for the last. Well, potentially reclusive, reclusive for the last 10 years. And why they were starting to kind of pull away a bit at the end of Inquisition is the discovery of the griffins 
Tyler ruled note, we scoured the Vice Hub libraries and found nothing useful for, for training griffins. The archivist said all the griffin texts were lost or destroyed over time, which means Remy and I are starting from scratch. We'll approach us like a falconer would and hope griffin instincts are the same. I can't but I mean, I, I, I do believe that the griffin stuff will get lost over time, because like if you don't use it for millennia or like, for centuries, it's get like... That? The griffins have been training for this sort of thing. Let's see if Hassan was paying attention. The griffins! So that was another thing that they spoiled them. I'm just gonna say, uh, they spoiled in the promotional material. No, Lance and Remy did. They're the Griffin Whisperers. So you're the bodyguard. Griffins are the warden's greatest legacy. Someone has to protect them. From themselves, even. I mean, we could go that way too. What's over there? Um. I forgot what I was saying. It just makes sense over time that you lose material that you no longer use, you know? Kind of. Like, I don't know, like a part of me is like, don't, don't you, you think you'd keep it out of like a sense of nostalgia, but like, you know, like hope maybe, but like, over time, it just would that those those documents wouldn't be given the priority, and they'd eventually fade away. You know, it's crazy what can be lost over time. Something like they think that will never be forgotten, and then Hold goes There's the dark spot. Goes bye bye. Let's get in there. I hate these things. Everything about them is wrong. That's why it's a job for professionals. A job for professionals. Well, it would be nice if you guys did more. Oh, I gotta destroy the thing, I think. Oop, wrong button. I tried to loop the blocks. Is there another one? There is. Uh, what? Oh my gosh, what happened? Where's the other one? Remy, where are you hurt? Oh, everywhere. A monster came out of nowhere. Darkspawn were following it. Lance, it ran ahead. It's back? Davrin, remember. A light touch. Asan's still learning. You're the trainer. Not anymore. Yeah. <sighs> we have to keep going. Let's get through here. This was supposed Those to just be. Those two statues are the spare key. Line up the symbols. Just supposed what to be a by its back? training exercise. Something's stalking Grey Wardens. We call it the Gloom Howler. Oh. I'm hunting it. Started happening seven, eight months ago. Darkspawn obey it. There's some kind of hold over them. Great. Love that for us. A sketchbook page, Artist Unknown, featuring precise illustrations of animal horns. A note in the margins read, He claimed the horn was an August Rams. I'm not so sure. Listen, I get it. You get, like, your little, like, obsessed, you know, corner. Or your, your, uh, what is it, like your, um, thing that you fixate on, you know? And like I said, like, biological traits are really interesting.
Dang, I just, it honestly amazes me that, 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 that there are any wardens left because I just feel like they die at a prodigious rate. <laughs> I mean, I guess they've had 10 years now, but still. Now they're gonna die again, you know? But, oh, I guess before we go do anything crazy, I will go ahead and call it here. So, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it really quick. I'm going to cut away and say thank you to my patrons. Actually, as promised before in the last video, we're going to do codex entries really quick before I say thank you to Patreon. So, queue up two codex entries. Why is that Isabella? That's a picture of Isabella. Sexuality and Thetis, and they put Isabella on the cover. <laughs> Makes sense. What I find most interesting is that, despite the lack of open discussions on matters of human sexuality, there is a commonality to be found on the subject in all Andrastian lands. Typically, one's sexual habits are considered natural and separate from matters of procreation, and only among the nobility, where procreation involves issues of inheritance and the union of powerful families, is it considered of vital importance. Yet even there, a noble who has done their duty to the family might be allowed to pursue their own sexual interests without raising eyebrows. The view on indulging lust with a member of the same gender varies from land to land. In Orlais, it is considered a quirk of character and nothing more. In Ferelden, it is, it, is, it, is, in Ferelden, it is a matter of scandal if done indiscreetly, but otherwise nothing noteworthy. In Tevinter, it is considered selfish and deviant behavior among nobles, but actively encouraged with favored slaves. So, yeah, so that's exactly what you think it means. Nowhere is it forbidden, and sex of any kind is only considered worthy of judgment when taken to awful excess or performed in the public eye, which does, you know, that's fair. If from Brother Jenna TV. Ravain, nowhere in my travels, nor in the heart of the Imperium, nor the streets of Orzammar, have I felt so much an outsider as in Ravain. The chant of light never truly reached the ears of these people. I mean, Orzammar doesn't do the chant either. The years they spent under the, under the thumb of the Kunari left most of the country zealous followers of the Kun, but resistance to the chant goes deeper than the Kunari war. The Ravani refused to be parted from their seers, wise women who are in fact hedge mages, communicating with spirits and actually allowing themselves to become possessed. The Chantry prohibition against such magical practices violates millennia of local tradition. It's good, they're far enough away that like they like nothing has been like an exalted march hasn't been sent against them. They send missionaries out and it's like as far as I know, it's like a, oh yeah, thanks, and then they're just like, hey, that's nice and like uh, you stay over there you know what i mean they don't ban the chantry either in ravine um but yeah i would think um zealous followers of the kune is is um harsh i don't think ravine is that but they are very close to canary lands or at least to where the canary reside right now and they did where they were taken over by canary for a while um so there's like a mix there, a strange mix, uh, which the Canari beliefs also don't mesh with the Canari, the, the, the Ravani wise women. You know, Canari fear magic more than the Chantry does um, as a general rule. And again, I think it's because they have like a deeply like genetic memory, essentially, of like uh, being formed out of like terrible magics. You know what I mean? Um, or like being created out of terrible magics. All right, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patrons, Riz Galito, thank you so much, and Sebastian James, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my Forest Tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.